Hey everybody. So here we have the Compact Presario V6000. This is the 2006 laptop that's been featured on this channel here lately in several videos. And this machine currently does not have a Windows 10 slash Windows 11 digital license. So, in my last video, um, I attempted to activate Windows 10 1709 using a Windows 7 product key after a viewer suggested in a recent video of me going over the news that Microsoft has ended the ability to activate Windows 11 and Windows 10 using Windows 7 keys. They stated that you could do it in Windows 11 21 H2. In my last video I tried to just try it with Windows 10 1709 essentially an older version of Windows 10 and it was not successful and if you want to see the video I'll put a card in the upper right corner but we're going to try this with Windows 11 21 H2 which I had just clean installed so let's go ahead and pull up our settings and we're going to need to hook this up to the internet and I'm pretty sure when I hook this up to the internet it's going to immediately start downloading anything and everything so performance will likely take a nosedive So let's go to activation. And you can see it says it's not active. We can't reach for activation servers right now. So let's try it again here in just a moment. There we are. Huh. Now it says Windows reported that the hardware of your device has changed. It didn't say anything about the product key, which is kind of interesting because. Uh, Previously, it mentioned about the product key being invalid. All right, so let's go ahead and type in a Windows 7 product key for Windows 7 Pro. And let's see if it will activate. All right, let's attempt to activate. Okay, it says unable to activate Windows. It says we can't activate Windows on this device because you don't have a valid digital license or product key. So we're getting the same error message that we got in the previous video featuring Windows 10 1709. So apparently, the information that the viewer had seen on the internet um, apparently is not true to 100%. And let me go and explain why. So there is a chance that in that one scenario where Windows 11 successfully activated, it could have been because either there was already a digital license for that hardware from Windows 10 or something else from prior, who knows. Or there is a possibility that the product key in question could have been used to activate Windows 11 and Windows 10 previously. However, from what I'm hearing online, if you have an existing Windows 7 key that you have activated Windows 10 and Windows 11 with previously, if you were to try to activate it again, it would not work. Now, there's another thing I'd like to um, cover is some people I think are saying that Windows 8 keys are working. For example, of course, in Windows 8, they started baking the product key into the system UEFI. Now, in Windows 7, they kind of did this too. Um, they basically did it using... Your, so, in Windows 7, you actually had, on an OEM computer, you had two product keys. You had your OEM SLP key, which was integrated into the BIOS. And you had a COA key, which was on a sticker on the computer. Now, of course, with Windows 8, they, got, they did away with the COA sticker, at least for OEM installations from the big brands. You might still get a COA if you were to buy Windows um, 
as an OEM copy from, I don't know, Newegg or somewhere. It's been so long since I've actually purchased a uh, OEM copy of Windows. Because, <laughs> obviously, for the past, like, seven years, it hasn't really been necessary. Because you could just activate Windows 10 with Windows 7 key. But, back in the day, um, of course, when you purchase a copy of Windows OEM from Newegg or something like that, you would get a, uh, basically, you would get a little CD case or a DVD case and include in that case with a little COA sticker you would attach to the computer case. So, in Windows 11, in Windows 10, and Windows 8, it's a bit different. So there is a chance that you could actually activate Windows 11 and Windows 10 on a computer that came with Windows 8 pre-installed due to the nature of how the key is baked into the BIOS. Microsoft may have made an exception for that, I don't know for sure, but of course, any computer with an OEM key like that, with Windows 8 built into the BIOS, of course will not meet the Microsoft Elite class business requirement on Windows 11, so you would already have to use Rufus just to install the OS on that system, or upgrade to that system, but anyways, um, so it appears that the information in my previous videos still stands, hope this clears up any confusion, hope you enjoy this video, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can notify a new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubecomp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.